gonna install the inner rocker bracket. This allows us to come into the inside of the rocker on the F-150. This is where the running boards mount to, so if there's running boards attached, they need to be removed in order to gain access. This allows us to mount in an area that's gonna leave no marks on the vehicle. So if you're mounting it in an undamaged area, you're not gonna see any marks. There's no refinishing or anything that needs to be done to this. This bracket is mounted to the inside of the rocker. This is where the running boards mount. There's a three bolt pattern. We're gonna put a nut and a washer on those three bolts. going to snug these down. This allows us to build up to this point. The vehicle is already mounted in our truck holding system, so we know the position is correct, so we'll use our anchoring base and build up to this and lock this down to the frame machine. Once we set that clamp in place, we're going to position an anchoring base beneath it. Once we've installed our base and we know that it's going to match up to our bracket up top, we're going to grab our short tube base. We're going to grab an extension adapter. We're going to also grab a short extension tube, assemble this. Put our wing, locking wing nut on our top plate. Thread this into our short tube. And what we'll do is we're gonna take and we're gonna drop this inside our base and slide this underneath where we need to position it to mount up to the bracket. Thread this up. Once we thread this in, we're gonna position it under the base. Bring this up and place our three bolts. Position the bolts, lock down three locations on it. Snug these bolts up. What we want to do is line up the hole on our tube so we can put the locking pin in. We're going to take our spanner wrench, place it on so that we can adjust the tube Put our locking pin in, bring in the locking nut, and what we're going to do at this point is we're going to go ahead and put in our base plate and our locking bolt for our base plate. Now we have all these locked down, we'll just uh, come back and tighten up the base plates and we should have the vehicle locked down.